good morning students today we are going to start chapter number 3 and the chapter number 3 is synthetic fiber and plastic then in this chapter we will read about the synthetic fiber in the previous classes you have already read about the uh, animal fibers and plant fibers and now uh, now in the 8th standard we will uh, learn about the synthetic fibers and plastic then let's start the chapter with some questions the first is what are natural fibers then the natural fibers are the fiber which we obtain from the natural sources the next is name some animal fibers then animal fibers are silk and wool silk we obtain from the silk worm and wool we obtain from the uh, it may be from the sheep camel uh, llama uh, maybe goat and rabbits the next question name some plant fibers then plant fibers are cotton jute hemp coir etc and now next question what is coir then coir is coconut fiber it is the outer cover of the coconut fiber coconut and called the coir next is hemp fiber is obtained by which part of the plant uh, the this is missing here obtain then see plant fiber hemp fiber is obtained by which part of the plant then the answer is it is obtained by stem of the plant stem let's start the chapter the first topic of the chapter is synthetic fiber now what are the synthetic fibers then synthetic fibers are man made fibers these are produced uh, by chemical substances now synthetic fibers are the polymers what's the meaning of the polymer now see poly means many and mer means unit poly means many and mer means unit it means these are the fibers which are made up of many units which are made up of many units and uh, um, what will be that unit that unit will be a chemical it means those fibers which are made up of many units of the uh, or uh, molecules of any chemical they are called the synthetic fibers now see polymers and monomers synthetic fibers are the chain of small chemical units which are joined together and each small unit is called monomer the large chain formed are called yeah, is called monomer now see i can give you one example this is a necklace this necklace is made up of weeds now see 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that so many weeds they join together to form the necklace now if we compare it with the polymer then these weeds are the monomers these are the monomers and the whole necklace is the polymer this whole necklace is the polymer now see as the necklace is made up of so many weeds same the polymer is made up of so many monomers when the monomers join together they form the polymer now next uh, is it clear to you what is polymerization this process of making or combining small monomers to form the large polymer is called polymerization and i can give you the example of polymer it is polythene one example i can give you it is polythene now see in the polythene polythene is a polymer polythene is a polymer now it is a polymer of ethylene ethylene is monomer it means so many poly uh, ethylene molecules they join together to form the polythene is it okay so many ethylene molecules which are the mono monomer they the monomer the ethylene molecule they join together to form the polythene that is polymer okay then see next polymerization is of two type one is called linear polymerization and second is called cross link polymerization first one is linear polymerization and second is cross link polymerization now see the first one when the uh, monomers are in a single line <clears throat> you can see in this picture 
this single line this is called linear polymerization when they are in a single line and the next one when they are cross-linked it means they are in crisscross arrangement this type of arrangement is there you can see this type of arrangement is there then this is called the cross-linked polymerization it means the monomers are arranged in cross and in the previous one they were in a single line then this is the linear polymerization and the next is cross-linked polymerization okay then this is enough for today thank you